Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install CCleaner onto your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to first start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't really matter which one you choose to open. I'm going to open up Google Chrome though. And then once you have a web browser open, you want to navigate over to google.com. Once you're on Google, you want to type in CCleaner, so C-C-L-E-A-N-E-R, and then you just want to hit enter. One of the best matches should be from a CCleaner domain here, ccleaner.com. You want to just left click to open that up. So you can download it from other third party sites as well, but if you're looking just for the free version, which really doesn't have any features that you really need that are not in the professional version, at least for most consumers, you're probably going to be good with the free download. So left click on the free download button here. And then looking at the free column, you want to go down to the bottom until you find the download button. Please, again, make sure you're selecting the free version unless you want to pay for the professional or professional plus. People seem to disregard that fact and they don't seem to read before they start clicking on download buttons. But we're going to left click on the download button underneath the free version. And it should begin downloading within a few seconds. And the download is only about 10 megabytes, so it's pretty small. Once it's done downloading, I'm just going to left click on the executable once to open it up. You receive a user account control window, left click on yes. I'm going to minimize out of there. Okay, so at this point, you can just left click on the install button, but I would personally recommend if you have any add-ons down here, if you don't want to install a vast free antivirus, you can just uncheck that. And then if you left click on customize, you can have a few additional options in here before you finish installing. So if you want to maybe, for example, inform me of updates for CCleaner, you don't want to receive pop-ups, you can just uncheck that. If you don't want to add a start menu or a desktop shortcut, you can unselect those options as well. But again, it's really at your own discretion. And then once you're done with that, left click on install to finish up the installation here. Once it's done, if you want to view the release notes in a web browser window, you just keep that checked. If not, uncheck it, and then just left click to run CCleaner. And you see we have CCleaner now installed on our computer. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.